What's up guys, Gabriel Varga here. Today I'm gonna to take you through three Peter Arts high kick setups. It's gonna be not just an instructional, but it's actually gonna be a follow along. I want you guys to follow along with me, practice the drills as I teach you how to throw them, and then at the end we'll execute them together full speed. And I want us today to start off with the classic Peter Arts double hand push or single arm push, it doesn't really matter, but creating space by shoving somebody away and then once they're there and they think they're out of range throwing the high kick. I love utilizing this one, it works so well. Let's start off today with two arms pushing out and then following with the back leg coming into the head level follow through round kick. All I want us to do at the beginning is practice the push. We're gonna take our two hands, imagine the guy's right in front of us. Our hands are up, he's right in front of our face. And I want us to imagine we flip our palms at which to get a little more power we extend and as we extend, we drop our head just a little bit. So it's tucked in, it's safe. The chance of a counter landing here is substantial. But the chance of a counter landing when I'm here is much less. So let's just practice five times pushing from the shelled position. And one, two, three, four, five, now from here what I want to do is I want to get to that position and then very quickly massive pivot of my standing leg so my hips can turn over. I maintain that range and I blast the head kick up and through. All right, 10 counts, just nice and slow starting from that crunched in range. And one, push and up and through. And two, remember arms, especially the back arm stays extended the whole time. Three, it also blinds my opponent's vision having those hands down the middle. Four, five, let's start picking up the pace between the hands extending and the kick coming. We don't want one, two, we kind of want one, two. Now let's do five more counts. One, two, three, four, Five, if you're somebody who has a decent amount of strength in you, this is a fantastic kick. Somebody like myself, if I'm fighting a dude who naturally has 20 pounds on me in the ring, trying to put my hands here and push him is gonna be less effective. But if you're a big guy, you can easily create that space. The other way you can do this one is from here, instead of trying to push him, I back up. And then as I back up, this way I don't have to actually move him, I just move myself, I keep my hands there, and then I come with my head kick. You guys can practice that one on your own. You're in tight, push, and then into the head kick. All right guys, technique number two for today, we are going to throw body shot, body shot, and then fake down to the side, keep our head low like we were just throwing the body shot, and then as our head stays here, sweep through with the head round kick. It's one, two, drop and up. This one sells and it's odd because the head is never at full height and it's not often that you see somebody drop their head level and throw the kick. Also something that I like about this one is it can be done at this range but we can also be in here simply drop my head off to the side and create enough space to get that head kick up whereas if I keep my head high I jam myself. So let's start today we'll go one punch head off the center line and then next time fake and the kick. All right and fake and one and fake and two and you can even let the hand go on the second one so it would look like this it's fake drop the head and then come up with the kick and fake and three fake and four and fake and five, fake, and six, two more, fake, and seven, and fake, and eight, Peter Art's head kicks, I believe, were so effective because of the timing between the arm motion and the punch. It's not one, two, but one, two, 
And what you're trying to do is you're trying to have somebody close their guard up, they leave the side of their head open, and before they can make the adjustment to go wide and protect, protect the side of the head, you've already landed. So for our next technique, we're coming very similar to what we just did, but instead of having that slightly larger timing, it's a one, two. And I don't pull this hand back until my kick is just about to hit. So let's start right now with just one, and just let your hip, don't let your hip completely turn over, just kind of go arm punch. Arm punch so that on then on the kick, I can get my full twist. So just fairly stiff and one. It's almost like an incorrect punch. Two, three, four, five. And then now from here, we leave it out. One, and now we throw our head kick. Two, and one, two. Let's do one more here. One, two. And now finally we put the two together. So the speed is fast. Again, it's not one, two, it's much faster than we would normally even throw a jab cross. Jab cross is one, two. This one is punch kick. All right, ready. One count, two techniques. And one, two, three. I like keeping my head really high on this one. Really sell that punch. Don't let them think the head kick is coming. Four, five, switch my stance so I can try it here. Six, seven, still going for a big pivot, but the pivot comes just as we start kicking. Eight, nine, and 10. All right guys, so there we go. Three Peter Arts head kicks that you can practice along with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you feel like now you're gonna be able to go in on your bag work, your pad work, or even better, your sparring, and actually be able to execute it properly. If you guys enjoyed the follow along tutorial, give the video a like. If you haven't already, guys, join the channel, get subscribed. As always, guys, train hard, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.